Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have my summer FabFitFun box to share with all of you. Now FabFitFun is probably the largest and most famous women's lifestyle subscription box out there. That said, many of you are probably familiar with it. You've probably been subscribed at least once before or are still subscribed and have been for a long time. I myself first subscribed, I think for one quarter back in 2015. It was a little bit different back then. I took a break from subscription boxes in general until I started my channel about five years ago so there was a big gap there um, and I didn't even open this box on the channel for quite some time one because I knew that they were such a big uh, subscription box and I am such a small channel that I knew I would not be getting any boxes sent to me for review but also I just wasn't sure if you guys would be interested in seeing the customizations that I chose every season but you let me know that you were interested so that is why I now purchased the box I am an annual subscriber because I like that customization ability across all six categories. Just in case though you need a little refresher, let me give you the rundown. It is a quarterly box. It is $59.99 per quarter. If you are able though to do the annual subscription up front, you will save $20 bringing it to $219.99. Annual subscribers also have the awesome benefit of being able to customize all six categories. I believe that quarterly subscribers you only get to customize four of the categories and you leave it up to FabFitFun to choose for you for the other two, but I like that control personally. If there is a category where you just can't choose, you can opt to have them choose for you and get a mystery item, which I think could be kind of fun, but I think the value of this box cannot be beat because it is a funded company. They are able to buy in such quantities that they are able to get us amazing, amazing deals. There's all kinds of other ways that you can take advantage of being part of the FabFitFun community in terms of their forums, in terms of the add-ons, doing additional customization selections. And I will say that this season for me was so much better than the spring season, so much so that I actually chose two items in five of the six categories. <laughs> I thought it was just a really good deal. So I wound up with a box totaling a value of over $400. If you just went with the highest value product in all of the boxes uh, or in all of the categories, you could easily surpass that by quite a bit. But essentially I paid $54.99 for my box because I am an annual subscriber and then the additional amount that I paid was just under $65 so I basically paid $120 for this box of 11 items yes because there were five categories where I doubled up 11 items which means that I on average paid about $10.84 per item I know it's a weird way to do the math but and each of the items, the average value for all 11 items that I wound up with was $36.72. So three times what I paid. So really good deals. They also have the option of having sort of um, additional subscriptions for items that you know that you love so that those get put into your box. And I, every season right now, am doing, for a while I had a Christophe Robin scrub, but I couldn't get through it every quarter fast enough. But I am using these Lujo Bar uh, Eucalyptus Shower steamers they're only nine nine $9.90 I think per quarter and so my husband always goes through these like in the first week that we have them but I always get those now I will say I don't think their box is that exciting but they did do a really fun like sort of print pattern on the inside this time they just kind of throw everything inside of the box with some paper I go ahead and pull out the items and I did notice I just opened it up right before I started this video that one of my 11 items is missing so this is my first opportunity opportunity to try out their customer service. They do it via text messaging. I let them know what item was missing and we'll just kind of see how it goes. So I might be able to give you guys some updates about that whole process, but a little disappointing. I've never had that problem happen before, but yes, I searched through the whole box, pulled all the paper out, pulled all the items out, and that item is not in there. All right, let's talk about category number one. So category number one is kind of the hero item. There were a lot of high priced, high valued items. It was the hardest one for me to choose just because there were some cute things. I didn't like the bucket bag personally. I thought the lemon pitcher, for example, from Kate Spade was adorable. Um, I don't need any more sunglasses. Sometimes it's a matter of like what you need. I almost considered getting the cooler tote bag just because it was so cute, but I have so many of those. So I was trying to be sort of have some self-control in terms of getting things that I knew that I would use and that weren't doubling up. So I wound up getting the Dr. Dennis Gross Overnight Texture Renewal 
peel. So um, I've used some of these before, not this particular brand, but I feel like they are really nice in terms of smoothing the surface of my skin. This has a $42 value. It says this overnight peel is powered by Phyto Retinol Blend, bringing you the perfect amount of retinol, Balcuchiol, which is like a natural retinol, Rambutan, which is that spiky fruit, which I thought was interesting, ferulic acid in each peel to bring the professional grade skincare straight to your at home routine, target oiliness, fine lines, wrinkles, and breakouts, while soothing and hydrating your skin thanks to key ingredients of cucumber extract and hyaluronic acid. So essentially, they're just a little peel, a little pad that you wipe over your face and get to use it. I think there are eight treatments in here, so I figured why not? That was definitely not the highest value valued item in this category, but it was one that I thought that I would use and that wouldn't take up too much space in my medicine cabinet. So I, it was a little bit of a disappointing hero category for me. You guys let me know in the comments below. I know a lot of you are subscribers. What did you choose in that category? I just had a really hard time choosing this time around. All right, let's move on to the next category where my primary choice, I went with this Volition Getaway Glow Gradual Tan Firming Body Moisturizer. That's a lot of words. Uh, I also th thought it was interesting. This has a $46 value. I thought it was interesting that they also, from the same brand, had the Getaway Glow Gradual Tan Firming Serum. And I will tell you that I had to log into kind of wonky Wi-Fi while I was on a ship, on a cruise ship, to do my customization. So it was very, I was very nervous about getting all the things that I wanted and making sure that I made the right selections. But I thought this was kind of cool as someone who tends to go overboard when it comes to tan. I need to be a little bit better about that. I definitely got some tan lines going on, but this is a nice gradual way to build up a nice glow for the summer instead of just burning the heck out of yourself. You'll see from some of my other choices that I'm being very conscious about the sun these days. It says, speaking of do-it-all products, not only does the Volition Body Moisturizer provide a gradual, healthy-looking glow with none of the streaks or mess, but it's also top-tier body care. This moisturizer infuses the skin with nutrients for ultimate hydration and an ink increases the appearance of your skin's texture and firmness. We love that, right? Now, uh, additional choice pricing in category one was 16 extra dollars. All of the additional choice pricing, I think went up by like a dollar or two this time around. You guys correct me if I am wrong. The additional choice pricing for category two was $15, but still it's a really good value, right? When things are, you know, valued at $60 and you're getting it for 15, it seems like you're doing a good job. So we had two items from Lost and Wander in this category. One was the Frequent Flyer Travel Pillow. I actually just got the Wander Plus Travel Pillow and I tried it out on my last trip and I liked it a lot, different brand, uh, but you will notice that that brand and that neck pillow is going to be in another subscription box this season. So just saying. Uh, I will say though, FabFitFun, look at them getting their boxes out in April and May for summer. They are definitely ahead of the game. One of the nice perks of being a big company with a huge team. I did go with the Lost in Wander Worry-Free Passport Wallet, which has a $40 value. I thought it was cute with this detachable wristlet strap. Um, I will probably detach it and use that on something else. I'm always looking for wristlet straps. I'm usually someone who likes genuine leather over faux leather just because I think it lasts longer and also stays out of our landfills, or at least will break down if it makes its way there. Um, but I thought this was kind of nice. It kind of has that Safiano leather texture to it. It's a little bit bigger than I was expecting. It does have a $40 value. The neck pillow, by the way, had a $60 value, which seemed kind of crazy to me. This seems a little bit more pleathery, um, more like plasticky than a nice faux leather inside, but I did like the idea of all of these pouches, just a nice wallet. I will probably still just have my passport naked, honestly, now that I'm looking at it versus moving all of the things from my wallet into this because I like my wallet. Um, but I could see in certain cases where you don't want to have to rummage through your purse that this might be a good option. It says, we're saying hello to summer travels and goodbye to disorganized travel prep with this passport wallet. Passport, check. Boarding pass, check. Cards, check. It has a beautiful neutral look and even comes with a removable wristlet for easy access. This product alone will definitely elevate you to pro traveler status. So I thought it was nice. It's a little bit short for your boarding pass unless you like fold it in Although I know a lot of us use digital boarding passes, but I could see using it on a trip There are a lot of nice pockets So I could also see it just as a travel organizer for when I'm out and about Maybe I have some like reservations or notes or even a little like, you know little notebook inside to to kind of keep track of but I'm not usually walking around with my passport in hand 
I, I opted to give it a try for an extra $15, but now that I see it, it's a little bit bigger and bulkier than I was actually expecting. For customization or choice number three, I went with, for my primary choice, the Super Spritz by Vacation. It's a 50 SPF face mist. I thought this was a really good idea as someone who, um, I will put sunscreen on, obviously, but then sometimes I will put some makeup on, so I thought the mist might be a nice way of just kind of adding to my sunscreen without um, like mixing it in with any foundation that I might have on. So this has a value of $24. I think in this particular category, you guys, there was a double gold anklet that had a $140 value. So again, I go with the things that I think I'm going to use that would feel fine you find useful. It says this must have summer essential gives you the sun protection you need with just a spritz. It works well over makeup so you can reapply whenever you need a refreshing boost during the long summer days ahead. So again, I thought that was nice to use the mist. I do have a trip. Uh, it got moved from these temperate times to the middle of summer. I'm going to be sweating it out in Arizona. So um, that mist might come in really handy. Now as my, excuse me, that was my additional choice because this one, this other item that was my primary choice was $1 more. So I usually do the more expensive of the two as my primary choice. It is of course the candle. So I am a sucker every time there is a candle. I will get the candle. This, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open this on camera though, it's a little bit tricky. So this had a $25 value. Again, I felt a little bit guilty. Sometimes I feel a little guilty not going for the super expensive item. If, you know, an anklet, I might use it, but did I need it? No. Um, so it says the bright notes of citrus, jasmine, and peony. So those are like three cents that I love all in a beautiful candle, it seemed perfect for me, are the perfect way to cheers to summer. The candle is made from non-toxic ingredients, including natural soy wax blend, premium cotton wicks, and custom fragrance oils. So it's pretty cute in this little jar with the little bamboo lid. It kind of reminds me of some of the ones that we've gotten from Elam. So it's super cute. I'm going to give it a sniff. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, that smells good. It smells a little more sweet, like kind of has a creamy, like almost vanilla scent to it. I'm missing sort of the more tart citrusy scent that I was hoping just from the way it looks and the way it was described. It's not very floral to me. I'm getting a little bit of the peony maybe, but not a lot of the jasmine, not a lot of the citrus. It's a nice scent, but I thought it was going to be a little sharper, um, a little fresher than, um, than it is to me at this moment. So all right, you guys, moving on to choice number four, where additional pricing was $10. I did go with a high-valued item here. Now, this category, I think there were only six items when I actually went to choose. I went with, we all know it, super expensive skincare brand, Avant. So um, I did go with this. It was the high, oh no, the bespoke jewelry digital offer was the highest valued item because you could get a, basically a $250 gift certificate. That just seemed like an excuse to shop and spend a lot of money on expensive jewelry. So this was the highest valued item that was a little more tangible at $99. So it says this moisturizer is, so that's like a fourth of the total value of my box. It says this moisturizer is the perfect choice for those with sensitive skin, that's me these days, packed with soothing ingredients that aim to calm, nourish, and protect the skin's barrier from environmental triggers while reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. That all sounds well and good. It is a little crazy that this is the cost for 1.69 fluid ounces and I know some of you are not into the math some of you are though so let's just see how much that is per ounce it is oh <laughs> I did times instead of divided by let's see I believe it is $58 per ounce. That is a lot of money. Okay. Uh, so my secondary choice or my additional choice in here was the Sarah Labs Cracked Heel Souffle, which has a value of $35.95. It has, I am telling you guys, the tiniest, tiniest font. So when I was digging through my box trying to find the missing item, which is coming up here soon, I was like, 
well, I don't think that's it, but I could not tell what that was at first. It was so crazy. So sandal season is in full swing, and luckily your feet and heels will be more than ready. This deeply moisturizing heel souffle helps to improve rough skin, formulated with shea butter, coconut oil, lavender oil, and marula oil that works hard to heave it, heal even the deepest cracks. It can be used throughout the day or overnight to keep your heels in tip-top shape. So hopefully that works. I try all kinds of like heel repair things. I just walk around barefoot a lot, uh, so my feet always need a little extra love and I wear sandals a lot year round so um, I'm lucky enough to be able to do that this was a little bit of a harder category for me to choose from honestly those were like the only two things that I liked but I did think it was worth the extra ten dollars to get the uh, $36 heel like treatment all right choice number five so my primary or my first choice for uh, choice five was the missing item. It was the insert name here, Sleek Stick, which uh, instead of like the wand that looks like mascara for flyaways, looked like it was more to really pull your hair back or like if you have an updo to really like all those little short fuzzy hairs that I have a ton of to really like kind of um almost like a deodorant stick is what it looked like where it would just really smooth everything. It seemed like a great idea. I'm hoping that they will still send it to me since I double checked my order and it is in there. I did do it as my first choice. So it says no more days with flyaways. The sleek stick tames any unruly strands you can achieve the sleek and chic summertime hairstyles you've been saving during your social media scrolls. Add hair texture and control to any hairstyle with this versatile hair wax that ensures creative and polished hairstyles are always at your fingertips. The peachy clean scent, which sounds lovely, and ultra conditioning ingredients are a huge plus, making your hair feel as good as it looks. So it's not just greasy, it's kind of giving it some nourishment, but it's also, when I pull my hair back and it's wet, it looks like real chic, real sleek, and then it dries and the frizz happens. So I feel like if I just put some of that on there ahead of time, it will still look really nice when I do like a high bun. I'm hoping, <laughs> I am hoping, but uh, we'll have to try it out a little bit later. And then the, my additional choice here, additional choices in customization five were only $9, so I went with it, was more sunscreen, because I always need more sunscreen, but I do like this brand Innisfree. I feel like they're Irish, I could be wrong. This is a daily UV defense sun sunscreen, uh, SPF 36, $16 value, says all the glow with none of the typical white cast often found in sunscreen. This do-it-all product provides sun protection while soothing and hydrating the skin. Green tea, tea, Sika, and sunflower seed oil are powerhouse ingredients that nurture, calm, and moisturize. And I liked it. It's just 1.69 fluid ounces. But again, just I have as many sunscreens as possible. I love the summer months because we get so many of them in our different boxes. This is not a reef safe sunscreen I'm noticing. It says that it's water-based versus being like, um, it doesn't say that, yes, because it has avobenzone, homosalate, and octosalate. So those are the things that you're trying to avoid if you're trying to do uh, reef safe. Um, but I'll still use it. By the pool when I'm not going in the ocean. Absolutely. All right, let's see. There was also an Earth Harbor Serum with a $45 value. I considered going for it so that I had a nice round 12 items in my box, but I get so many Earth Harbor products and I have so many serums that I haven't gotten to crack open yet that I decided we already got some moisturizers. We got that expensive Avant one. We'll let it go. Choice six. Interestingly enough, you would think that it just goes from like highest, um, priced items or additional choice pricing all the way down, but you know, choice five was additional choices for $9 and choice six was additional choices for $12, whatever. So I went with, for my first choice, the Truly Clear Wrinkle Fighting Silicone Three-Piece Face Set. I figured why not, it has a $30 value. The devil works hard, but this Truly Clear Wrinkle Fighting Silicone Three-Piece Face Set works harder. They're made with 100% German medical grade silicone and crafted specially for your forehead, under your eyes, and around your mouth. These patches are specially designed to create a therapeutic environment on your skin, and they're intended to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and restore radiance, hydration, and texture. And I believe that they are reusable. Oh, it says remove after six to eight hours. Yes, and then you can store it back on the plastic film and reuse it. Cool, right? I know, I was like $30 for like a one-time use, but six to eight hours. So basically I think you can sleep in this. Um, 
I figured why not try it, right? Uh, and then I got some more silicone, I think, for my additional choice. This has a $28 value, but I got it for just $12. This is not the kind of packaging I was expecting. Can you guys guess what this is just looking at it? Bet you can't. These are nipple covers and you could get them in mocha, latte, noir, or cream for $28. It says these may be this season's, I didn't know I needed this, but now I can't live without it product. The gather all nipple covers stay flush to your skin while remaining discreet under your clothes, making those tricky, what can I wear under this moments a thing of the past. They're waterproof and sweat proof so you can feel great no matter the strap situation. I just thought it was interesting that they came in a canister like this because then I thought like are they small like they're just the size of your nipples but they are like that more traditional shape and they are reusable remember the old chicken cutlets that you could get that were like a lot bigger um, that you could actually put into a bra to give you a little lift so this is what these look like they have this nice silicone texture this is I think the right color for me although you have to be careful depending on how sheer the clothing is because you don't want to just see a circle instead of a nipple right but um I think this is the right color. I wasn't sure if I should go with the like medium color or not, but I guess this is the little like cup that you keep it in shiny bit. And then this is the sticky side right here. So we'll give it a try. I wear a lot of sleeveless things, spaghetti strap things. Um, sometimes they're, they tend to still be pretty solid, but I just need a little bit of coverage so that it, I'm not saying hello to everyone. Um, <laughs> with uh with those um braless tops that i tend to wear so it's just a little bit smoother a little bit less noticeable overall i thought there were a lot of fun choices i was a little disappointed personally in the sort of hero category category one i'm a little bummed that my little sleek stick didn't show up but we get this opportunity to test it out and see how their customer service is and how long it gets takes for me to get that replacement. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Tell me your customization choices in the comments below and I'll see you soon in my next unboxing.